afternoon all of people hello again today I am going to show you how to use wiser.me it is a platform where we can create interactive worksheets that are very useful for our students now what I love about wiser is that it gives you a range of question types to choose from so I'm gonna log in now and show you how that's done of course you can click join now if you don't have a wiser account I suspect most of you may not so you can always click join now and it will take you through the process you can choose teacher or student and of course your students will have to go through this as well in this case we would choose teacher and then we could sign up with the relevant email address however because I am already a wiser member I'm just going to sign in Okay, when you get to your Wiser home screen, you will see many different worksheets that have already been created by Wiser community members. So you can choose to use one of these worksheets. However, I'm going to show you how to create your own worksheet so you can customize it for your students. Once we click create worksheet, we will have to the option to design it as we choose we can choose any one of these and several of these also come in different colors so you can choose the relevant color let's just go with this now because I am an information technology teacher I'm going to choose again input and output devices or let's just go with peripheral devices all right So we're moving on. These are the types of questions that you can use WISER for. Now things like open-ended and multiple choice questions, depending on the platform you use with your school, whether you use Zoom or Microsoft Teams or Google Classroom. In both Microsoft Teams and Google Classroom, you have the option to create these open-ended and multiple choice questions in the form of forms. However, because there's a limit to that, I usually tend to use Wiser to supplement my quiz types. So I can use fill in the blanks, I can use fill in on an image. Fill in on an image is particularly useful if you teach something where there's a map. So you can provide them with the map and I'll show you how fill in on an image works. It's also useful, let's say you're teaching Spanish and you want to show them a picture of a house and have them label the rooms or show them an outfit and have them label the clothing pieces, things like that. You can match, so the left column versus the right column, I'll show you how that works as well. You can sort, so for example, if I am asking students to sort odd, odd numbers and even numbers, I will put a list of numbers and have them sort it into the relevant columns. So let's get straight into the question types so you can have an idea of what they look like. Okay, so if we're looking at our fill in the blank, it's very straightforward in terms of letting you know what you have to put where. So let's say we can enter instructions for our students. Fill in the blanks for this paragraph. All right. Now you have the option between a text word bank and a click word bank. The difference is if you choose a text word bank, then students will see a little oval with all of the possible words. So normally that's how some persons would do the fill in the blank worksheets where they provide the students with the words and the student has to type in or write in the word in the blank. That's one option. Or you can do the click word bank where the students will click on the blank and they will have the option to choose any one of the words that pop up. And as they choose words, the words disappear from the list. All right, now I personally like the text word bank because I like my students to practice their typing. So I'm just going to actually just paste a paragraph that I had worked on before. You will type your entire paragraph first with all of the words that you want to blank. And when it comes to blanking the words, let's say I want this word for, I double click on it and I click blank. So I'm going to double click on each of these words. Oh, 
all of the words that I want to be blanked, I'm going to double click on it. All right, when I'm finished with that, I can just click done. And there we go. This is what it will look like without these words for the students. So yeah, the students aren't going to see the answers, but they will see the blanks and they will see the word bank. So they will click on the blank and type in the relevant answer. Let's look at these fill in an image. So you have the option here to either upload an image or select a page from a PDF. I personally go with uploading an image. If you want a page from a PDF, you can always take a screenshot of it and then upload it as an image because I find that it works a lot easier. So I'll just get one for you that I had before. And let's see. Now I can put a title for my question here or I can enter the instructions. Label this picture and this is the picture that I would have put now your picture you choose what they are labeling so let's say this monitor the screen here I just have to click on it and then I'm gonna type what I want them to put now this is case sensitive so I'll show you after how to review to ensure that even if your students put a capital letter at the beginning or put it in all caps, it should still be correct. So I'm gonna click on all the things that I want labeled. Speaker, I want them to know this is the keyboard and I want them to know that this is the mouse. All right. And when we click done, We'll see that it says label this picture. You can click on the blue tags to minimize them. And this is what your students will see. They will see the image with these blinking blue dots. Now they would be required to click on the blue dot and type in their answer to label it. So this is a really nice addition to your worksheet armory, <laughs> for want of a better word. This is a really nice addition to add to it. Now we have several other options, so let's look into those other options as well. All right, so let's look at the matching options. Again, you can write your instructions, match the items on the left with the items on the right. And then you add in your pairs. So let's say I want them to know input mouse. Now you're adding them in the correct order and the worksheet itself will scramble them for you. You can press tab on your keyboard to go on to another item. Output monitor. Input. Oh, let's go with joystick. output 3d printer all right let's just go with those four for now and of course we click done when we are finished and as i said it's going to scramble it for you so your students won't see these lines they will only see the orange circles so i'll show you in a little while what your students will see and of course we have the sorting so I would just put as instructions, sort the items in the relevant columns. So I can just type to enter the group name. There we go. Um, let's go primary storage, secondary storage. And again, you are putting the correct thing and it will fix it automatically for you. So I type in RAM, I can press enter, type in another one, ROM. 
I don't know why that happened. Alright, let's go flash drive. Memory card. Um, hard drive. There we go. We have three of them. And again, we can click done. Now, if you choose to buy a premium version of Wiser, if you choose to get premium access, you do have the option to differentiate these worksheets as well for your learning levels. Now, these you are all free to choose from. You can add in an image, you can add a video. Maybe you want to add a video about what you are teaching before you have them do the worksheet. That's possible as well. So let's say, for example, if I wanted to get a video about input and output devices, I would put that maybe at the beginning of the sheet, have them watch the video and then do the questions that follow. You can ask for a reflection from them as well. These two are new, so I haven't worked with them yet. Of course, you have your open ended questions and your multiple choice questions that you can use. When we are finished, we are going to click save. And you can add it to your Google Drive as well or your online cloud account, depending on what you use to sign in. I signed in with my Google account, so I have the option to add it to my Google Drive. Now that I'm finished with it, I'm going to click review. Great. And this is what it looks like for the student. So you see here that the words are not here. It's just a matter of them clicking and typing what they believe the correct thing to be. And then it removes the option so that they don't get confused. I can click here, type in what I want. Maybe that's correct, maybe it's not. And I click again. Yeah, I can click and drag to match my options. And then I can sort these, so I just click and choose the relevant storage. So this is where you review. Next we look at how to assign it to your learners. Now that we have reviewed our assignment and we are sufficiently pleased with it, we can go on to assign it to our learners. And you can assign it by a link so usually this has to be public unless you upgrade your account so I can click create assignment I can name it let's say I name it peripheral devices and you can assign it to Google classroom one time you can embed it if you know how to do that or you can send it as a link which is usually the easiest option so I can click that and copy the link and then paste it into whatever platform my students are using. So they will know, listen, this is what you have to do. This is the link that you can click on. Once it has been assigned, you can exit. And then I will show you how to view your answers. Now, when your students click on the link, they will be required to sign in. And if they don't have an Wiser account, they will have to sign up as well with their email address and password. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start filling in some options for you to see what it looks like. So let me just refresh this. Once your students have signed in, you should see that they are working on it. You won't see their answers just yet but you will see that they have signed in. Now, if you want to upgrade to premium, you can see their answers while they are working on the assignment. However, otherwise you'll have to wait until they click submit. So I'm just gonna fill in some information very quickly. Okay, so I put in some responses. So let's see what that looks like for the teacher. I just refresh my page so I can see these responses. Immediately I'll see a score. 
so I get to choose okay am I gonna take that score or not so let's look through the computer has processing main functions that's incorrect now if I wanted to make it correct I just had to click and it would be correct now I did have the option of changing this score so that the score would reflect appropriately each mark that the students will get I didn't change that so that's why you're seeing that point two nine now if we're looking at the image remember I told you this was monitor that should be correct we'll just click it and make it correct here because the person put speakers instead of speaker it would have been marked incorrect however we both know that's correct so I will just mark it correct as well so you may have to go through just to get an idea to make sure these things are correct these are wrong okay great all right so I will generally trust the score and I have the option to send feedback to the student so I can type good effort oh sorry please remember to review your material and then I can send feedback to my student yes so that's how we use wise I hope that was useful for you of course you don't always have to create your own worksheet you do have the option to go to the dashboard and look at the worksheets that are currently being used let's say I want to find a worksheet for multiplication I can simply if it's word problems I can click on it and as I scroll down I will see the worksheet if I feel as though I'm comfortable with the worksheet I can assign it immediately however if I want to use it I can click use worksheet and I will have the option to edit my own copy and then of course you assign it to your learners in the same way so thank you for watching please remember to subscribe like and share with your other teacher folk bye bye